made it to Nashville. This city has some amazing musicians in it. Hopefully there are some amazing tattooers as well. Hey guys, hey, welcome to Nashville Inc. Nice Hi. to meet you. My name is Rose and I've been tattooing eight years. My specialty is photorealism, smooth shading, perfect line work, I'm the real deal. People say I'm a hard ass. Well, I run a business. Do what you're supposed to do or the distance to the door is very short. What got you into tattooing? I been doing art my whole life. Kind of pushed it aside when I went to the military in Israel. Came to the United States after I finished the military. I had to leave all my family and everybody I know behind and start all over again. And look at you now, you know, this is your shop. I am actually living the American dream. This is it. That's you know? amazing. It's incredible what you've been through. And we have two amazing artists ready to go head to head with you and they're gonna be here any minute. My name's Kavan Infante, and I've been tattooing for about 10 years. I do a mix of different styles, but it's very influenced by comic books and graphic design. Really strong shapes, bold outlines, solid colors. I'm a big fan of unserious tattoos. It has meaning, but not a lot. The shop is... Yo, what up? What's your name? Rose. That's, that's fantastic. What a dainty flower you are. And have thorns, so, oh. you know, oh, be careful. Are you gonna be doing some sweet, like, flash from, like, the Eisenhower administration? Kavon, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a graphic designer and tattooer. I do more original work. I just think there's so many people out there doing the same thing and just like tired old designs. If I see another 40s pinup, I'm gonna vomit. A lot of the youngsters, they're cocky and they have a lot to learn. You guys are both pretty confident right now. You know we have a third competitor coming in. I'm Ty Wharton and I've been tattooing for 11 years. The tattoos I do the most of are realism and illustrative work. What sets me apart from other artists is my versatility. I can do pretty much every style you can imagine. Oh, hey. What's this? We got another nobody. This is tight. Awesome. A room full of dicks. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I started tattooing originally when I was 16 or 17. Oh, wow. And so I ended up steering away from it because I was kind of a, a shy, reserved person. But I had cancer when I was 21. And so I went through the chemo process that kind of pushed me away from my first set of plans and ended up um, back into tattooing. I'm really glad it ended up working out the way it did. I mean, it's amazing that you've gone, you know, through such a hardship at such a young age. And, and here you are today, you know, competing against two other awesome artists. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. You guys could not be more mismatched if you tried. So I hope you can all get on the same level because this is how the competition is going to work. There's going to be two elimination tattoos, and one artist is going to be eliminated each round. Whoever wins the final round will move on to face off against one of us angels in a head-to-head -head competition. Nice. Whoa. Oh, no. If you guys can beat one of us, you will automatically win a spot on Ink Master Season 10. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Yes. Are you guys ready for your first elimination tattoo? Bring it. Hell yeah. You're going to have two hours to tattoo any style, any subject. The only thing is, your tattoo has to incorporate the belly button. Oh, It's a very squishy location. Makes it a little bit tricky to have really nice precision, and that is something that we are going to be looking at. For these tattoos, we're going to be judging you on style, shading, outline and your overall application. Your canvases are all female, they're all completely open, and they've all been randomly assigned. One of you will be eliminated from this competition today. You up for it, old man? Yes, I am. All right. All right, you guys have two hours to tattoo any style, any subject, but you must incorporate the belly button. and your time starts now. All right. Um. Belly button tattoos are a bitch. The person is going to be breathing, so now you're tattooing a moving target, and it's extremely painful. You hit a bad spot, just breathe it out. OK. Like you're birthing a baby tattoo. I don't want to see a very awkward hole in the middle of the tattoo where your belly button is. I want to see the art actually work around it and integrate it. How's that, brutal? Nope. Well, we'll talk again in an hour <laughs> and a half and then you'll be ready to hit me in the mouth. Ooh. 
What made you think of this subject matter? This is the creation. We start from the belly button. Very clever. With this tattoo, I want to show that even on the stomach, I can do fine line work and smooth shading. It's a big risk. My canvas has to sit still. Besides being a full-time tattoo artist, I farm and I take care of animals. What do you say? Hello. Good boy. Being in the military gave me the ability to actually manage a lot of things at once and not fall under pressure. How do you feel about your time? It's a pretty big piece for two hours, but I'm the fastest tattoo artist that I know. Oh. Ooh. You're going more of the graphic route. Is that kind of your style? Yes. I'm doing a lower human jaw with a nuclear explosion behind it. I'm choosing this style because I want to do different and innovative things, not the basic safe options that I've seen a thousand times. I'm going to be on this competition thing. There's just supposed to be three local artists. I really hope you get to do something that you usually do instead of just like the, I found this picture on Pinterest. Can you do this for me? Nashville is a smaller town. I'm a little under-recognized. I want to compete to find out if I can really hold my own on a more global scale, or intergalactic scale, or in the universe scale. Good luck. Yeah, we will do. Later. Man, not only is it a tough spot, you're choosing a hard color to pack in there, huh? Yeah. Light blue is not easy. No, I love that color so much. It's just, I can't resist it. You guys have one hour left. One hour. How's it going here? I'm doing good. I don't know about my friend here. I went through a weight loss journey, so you get me in a couple of spots, it's like, mm-hmm. I'm doing a mandala. This is a large piece in a super painful area. I'm going to grasp this opportunity by the balls and pull this out for a win. I feel like the timing is, is perfect for going into this competition. I feel like it's going to help me alleviate a little bit of my introversion. This is your chance to shed that skin and do something so out of your realm. Because of my shy disposition, I've missed out on a lot of opportunities to accelerate my career. This is a real big shot for me. Mm. Oh, sh You're doing really good. You got this. I'm really thinking that she's not going to make it through, and that means I'm going home. Mm, you're doing so well. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop tattooing. Here you go. Check it out. Oh, wow. That's cool. I love it. That looks really good. Awesome. Ready to check this out? That looks amazing. Tulip's tattoo. It's just a Michelangelo ripoff. The smoothest shading and the cleanest lines aren't going to save it from being a boring piece. I'm definitely making it to the next round. Cool. Awesome. We have a big decision ahead of us. This isn't going to be an easy one. Kavan talked a big game and then didn't deliver at all. The design is not made for a woman. His color choice is wrong. There's not a single thing I could say about this tattoo that I like. He's not the only one at fault here. When I look at Ty's tattoo, there isn't one straight line in that entire tattoo. There are so many areas where lines cross each other, where she's just shaded completely out of the lines. But I'm happy with it, because it fits her. It does look beautiful. And unfortunately, the same can't really be said for Rose's tattoo. It looks like a belt to me. The problem is Rose's tattoo is one of the cleanest today, but he shouldn't have gone so dark. It's all black on dark gray. There's zero contrast in that tattoo. I have no idea which way we're leaning right now. For the average eye, I think that Ty's tattoo would be the crowd favorite. I can't let sloppiness to that degree slide. <sighs> I know. The tattoo that you did was not flattering. You chose these hands that looked so bad, and the whole thing relies on them. It's complimenting the area. It's not complimenting the area. It ran horizontally. All right, guys. Ready to do this? There's a lot on the line. We have to make tough decisions in order to find out which one of you is the best. We have decided that the winner of today's elimination tattoo is Rose. Thank you. Those lines are very crispy. 
The shading that you put in there was very smooth. Hands are very difficult to render, but you pulled it off. Thank you. Kavan, Ty, one of you will be eliminated. I feel like I did better than Ty on line work execution. I think she had a bigger tattoo, although I'm not sure if that is valued in itself like an end goal. I feel like the, qual the quality of the tattoo overall was good. Hindsight, maybe less lines would have been advantageous, but I feel like I worked with the situation. But there ain't one clean, straight line in that entire tattoo. When you're doing a mandala, it is a perfect geometrical design. So you have to make sure your lines are clean. Kavan, the colors that you chose to use for this design do not work well. There's no real variation between her skin and the bright colors that you used. If any of you guys get past today, clean that up. The decision was unanimous. The artist that will be eliminated is...